want, man. <laughs> I've moved to Austin. And as you can see, I have nothing anywhere. There. But I do have all these weightlifting you shoes. Do have shoes. Position, Adidas 96s, Strength Shop Coyote, Ice Dungs, Nikes, some Jordans, some Reeboks, and then another pair of Ice Dungs, some cleats. Yeah, those are my weightlifting shoes. I don't know why I just showed you that, but I don't know. I've been experimenting more with like just vlog style videos, and I think people really like them, so I want to keep doing them, but I want to do them well, so I have a really good guy behind the camera. Oh, sure. Isn't that right, Will? <laughs> okay. Today we're going to go to Adam's gym, which is now going to be my home gym, Stonehenge Weightlifting. All it is is weightlifting platforms, barbells, and discs. It's not anything else. So. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best place to train. So we're gonna do that today. But first, my good friend Ian Daniel showed me these dudes, and I reached out to them to see if I could get a sponsorship. So it wasn't the other way around. And the reason was because this, all of their stuff, they do no stims. And um, I have Bang Monster 23 Energy or Caffeine Pills, a stim problem when it comes to training. So we're gonna take anywhere from 300 to 500 milligrams of caffeine. And the problem with that is the half-life of caffeine can be up to five hours. So if you take 300 milligrams of caffeine at noon, at five o'clock, you're gonna have 150 milligrams in your system. And then at 10 o'clock, when you wanna start winding down, you'll still have around 75 milligrams of caffeine in your system. And that's even worse if you guys get off of work and you go train at 5 p.m. So it's, this one is um, called Ascend. And again, this is by this company called Subject Zero, Ascend. And it's a non-stim, and they call it a nootropic, but it's just like kind of a pre-workout that gives you a lot of focus. And then this one is my favorite, Restoration. Man, I take this, lay in bed, and in a half hour, I'm just like sunken into my bed. It's non-habit forming. Um, and it really, really helps me sleep. Those two things actually go hand in hand, taking a lot of stems and being a <coughs> sleeper, wouldn't you know? Not doing that. But anyways, that's two things, and I have a code, so put the code right here and try it out. But again, I've reached out to them. They didn't come to me. I, I thought it was, the products were awesome, so. I, I don't know. I said I didn't see anything. It was you're coaching you. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, there's like programming. Where you? I mean, just I didn't. Yeah, no, I it's totally yeah. Dude, it's just my coaching stuff. So this is cool. Um, definitely go to Iron Mind. Check this out. I'm, I'm sure Alex will put a clip of this exact video over the top. Bulgarian training is like, you want to get to the other side of this wall. Instead of using the door, just bash your head against this wall as many times as you can until you get to the other side. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. I wouldn't consider myself having a lot of slow twitch muscles, it's just I like to have higher volume sets. 
least one to really get everything active. And then from there I can go heavy. If I'm, if I'm like peaking, I won't do that at all. But like one semi-heavy set for eight reps is definitely worth it to me. So here I'm gonna go 160 for three, 180 for three. And then if they both move at sevens, I'll just keep going. Stay up there. Push harder. Hey, nice. Good. Powerlifters do not understand weightlifting spotters at all. They need someone on their chest, two spotters on the side, where like weightlifters, like a couple fingers here to just help you get through the sticking point. And if you can't get through the sticking point, the spotter just runs away. <laughs> So now it's actual leg hypertrophy stuff. I thought you said 10. Dude, I gotta get these off me. You need, you need a triple, huh? Yeah. Put some on. Yeah. More sick than tired when that's the way Get it up there. Come on, go, Grant. Yeah, it's light in the hand.
just vibing? I love Eric Prince, bro. This is from one of my older videos, this song. And people who've been paying attention or have been on my YouTube for a while would know this one. That's all I'm gonna say. If I have sponsors, if I have other ways of making money, like to me it's cooler to use, sometimes it's cooler to use copyright music. The reason why it sucks to use copyright, I would take no payment on YouTube if possible and use cool ass music but the algorithm will, it won't work for something that's been copyrighted the same way. So I'll get substantially less views for using a copyrighted song, but all the people will like really appreciate it. So it's kind of a catch 22. People with longer legs, legs who are typically worse squatters, they have issues in that sticking point. The best way for them to extend their knee is to go like that, right? When they could think, taking their knee and driving it towards their toe, like that. See that? It goes like that. So okay. one more time. If you're in the bottom of this squat, right? Instead of just kind of standing, you can think, take your knees and drive them that way. When I squat in flats, I actually have more of a tendency to kind of lean forward, put my press in my toes, and then as I squat, I can still have that tension in my quads, even when I get to the deeper positions, so that I can push through here. So when it comes to the back squat for me, I've also kind of got, went wide like this. I don't know if you know why. But what I'm trying to do now is really try to stay upright, and as I initiate, I'm actually really focusing more on my knees. And so when I get to that bottom position, instead of letting everything kind of slip, see that? Slip and fall back, because what's my tendency going to be from here? To shoot up to stand. So instead of kind of letting that happen, I try to really control the knee. So you have to be active in, when, when all these muscles are shortened, you have to be actively pulling up. So one last drill, think about is lean into your knees and try to lift your knee up, right? This muscle, being active, is really important. All right, so that's it. Um, like I was kind of saying before, I want to start doing this style of video. I've obviously hired Will um, to get the quality up, but I think that the more stuff that either involves my daily life and the type of person I am. It's something that I can continue to do without burning out. Uh, I try, I'll, I'll keep trying to add in like tidbits of info like today about the squats, but um, for the most part, it's gonna be more, more videos like this to hopefully get you guys, you know, at least fired up to go train. Uh, and, and that's really it. So if you appreciate this style of video and you appreciate Will um, and Alex's editing, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'm gonna keep doing this thing for you guys and you know for me It's like this is a major turning point in my life. So um, I want to keep pushing and I want to be consistent I, I don't want to promise the world uh, That I'm gonna release a video all the time and do all this stuff and then maybe burn out possibly I don't want to do that. I just want to be consistent and transparent with you guys So if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe tell all your friends and uh, I'll see you on the next one Thank you.